Welcome back to the couch. Where I'm back again with a new video talking about uh, photography and all things to do with that. But today I'm gonna go through how I edit my photos in Lightroom. That is literally that is that's the title of this video. Just came up on the spot, just genius like that, you know. So yeah, just gonna show you a few few tips what I do and how I edit pretty much. Um, for example. Uh, for the images I'm using today, we're going to be using the shots I did with Mike Thurston. Now we shot this, did a bit of a collaboration a few months ago, uh, where we was running around JBR taking some lifestyle photos for his Instagram. I know you don't know who Mike Thurston is just yet, just type it into Instagram or YouTube and you'll, you'll instantly know who he is. So yeah, so I'm just going to quickly jump into the Lightroom and we'll show you how I edit my photos. So as you can see here, I've got a few examples of the shots I did of him. Um, just a few varieties so you can see how my workflow changed from the lighting. So obviously from here we've got like a more of a sunset shot to an indoor shot, then moving on to some more daytime where we put the sunlight's quite harsh. So obviously you can see how my workflow changes and how I approach each image differently. Or we we'll, might not go for all of them, but yeah. So yeah, I have all my presets on the left hand side as well. So if you want to buy them, <laughs> please help me out. <laughs> Need some money. I don't actually sell them, but if anyone is interested, yeah, just let me know. So the first thing we're going to do is just come down here, and we've actually got a preset from the last time I edited these photos, or a while back now. So we're just going to slap this on it, then we're done. <laughs> that's it. So you copy and paste that for five images, then that that's it. That's it. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not going to do that to you. You obviously want to see my workflow and all the rest of it. But obviously, you can see by this preset, this is classic. This is classic Rob Hilton. This is my very monotone grayscale clean look so that's what i try and approach to all my all my personal work that is uh, but obviously when i'm working for somewhere else or a brand or whatever whatever it is obviously i need to try and tailor it to the brand overlay to the guidelines to how they want their feed or they want their website to look should i say so yeah we'll reset this image so normally with this is quite a bright image so we'll probably just we'll probably bring back down the highlights to start off with so obviously the, the, the contrast and the colour and the building to the back was kind of taken out, it was quite bright. And the shadows, we'll bring back on the shadows as well to make the blacks a bit darker. I don't normally uh, mess around with contrast, it just does some to the images that I just don't, I just don't like. Just, just try and stay with it if you can. Um, so white's pretty white as it is, don't worry about that. Then just come down to the blacks. And this is pretty much, this is the basic editing done. As you can see now, that's definitely a bit better already from, from the original photo. And you're like, Jesus Christ, that's class, Rob. Anyway, we might even bump the clarity a bit, you know, keep it a bit sharp. It is, this was shot on my Sony A7 Mark III, the Sigma 35 1.4, so it is super sharp lens. Absolute dream to work with, would you? Ooh. Uh, so yeah, the moving down to the next step is normally moving on to color. Um, I always like to change the blues in my, in, my, in my images. So you come to the U here, and you just take down the blue a bit, make that make that sky just, just just look like you're abroad, you know. The sky device is it hazy at times, it looks a bit shy. So yeah, nice bit of blue in the sky. Then coming on to the yellows, ah, oh, I just gotta remove the yellows. Every image remove all the yellows and greens. That is just literally staple staple part of the diet when it comes to editing with me anyway. And normally I remove the blues, but for the purpose of this I'm gonna keep the blues in it. So I've obviously taken the aqua out of it because obviously aqua is like an element of blue so we actually don't need that. So yeah, we'll t tone the blues down just because we're gonna we'll edit this to my style. I might just said a second ago I'm not going to, but I decided I edit it the way I want to edit because this is my video at the end of the day. This is no one else's video is it? So yeah, so yeah, I think I'm liking that already. It's just so clean. I might even just bump up the orange a tiny bit more. I mean, Mike needs a tan, you know. Looking quite pale here. So yeah, moving on to that. That's pretty much the colour done for how I want this image to look. I think his skin tone is pretty much accurate as it is, but we're going to play with that in a second now. So we're going to come down to detail quickly, just add a bit of noise reduction, just very straightforward, just 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 to make sure there's nothing playing around. But this one shot in ISO 100, as you can see from the top, it is very just shoot very low. Obviously, because it's so bright in Dubai most of the time. Perks of living in a sunny, sunny perks of living in a sunny country. Thanks, Dubai. Then coming on to calibration. So this is what mainly working with like people shots portraits I always like to play with this feature quite a lot so you're working with the blue primary colors which kind of messes with the blues and oranges in the image so I normally just slide this across the left a bit and you just notice ever so slightly his skin color is changing um, I'll, I'll, I'll do that again for you so he's behaved a bit yellowy should I say 
that's due from the natural colour blends of the Sony cameras. They're over sledding to the tiny bit, just give them a bit more of a, a sun-kissed look, you know, that's what we're going for here. And maybe we can play with the red primary colours as well to see, see, yeah, that takes it a bit more orange. Oh, very orange. Oh, very. Oh no, we don't. <laughs> we don't want to go that way. So yeah, we'll keep. I think we'll keep that as it is because I don't know. I don't normally mess with that. And to be honest, we might even just crop this down a bit, just to make it fit a bit nicer on the old IG. IG. And yeah, I think that's literally that's pretty much it. So for image one, that's it. Before and after. Monotone perfection. Yeah, I like it a lot. So. So normally, after that, I do one image, I normally copy and paste that onto the rest of them, but obviously it varies for each different image. So for example, we're gonna copy and paste this onto the next image. And from here, we'll see how it affects the image. So instantly, you can see the image has gone a lot darker just due to the change of lighting and the settings and the way the sun is shining on the body, etc. So we're quickly gonna straighten this, even change the crop size as well, so it's going to Instagram, and you can post 1300 by 1080. So. Yeah, it's pretty nice, happy with that. So to come back into this, we're gonna have to bring up the shadows and bring back all the detail back in mic. I'm, I'd say, just, let's just leave it at neutral. Leave it at neutral, like, that's, that's turned out pretty nice as it is. Um, yeah, I like it, as simple as that, but let's, let's make this one a bit different, you know? Let's, let's add a bit, of, a bit of warmth, a bit of yellow back into it, and let's also increase the blues. Just so, just so showing you a variety of the way of editing. Um, but yeah, I like that a lot. And obviously you notice I've removed the greens as well, so the palm trees look quite cool in the background. So, you know, just keep, we're keeping it straightforward, you know. And also if you want, if you've got like a model that has a good body or you want to kind of define the person and make them stand out a bit more compared to the background, you know, just make it pop a bit more. You can come to your brush tool up here. Where's he gone? Hello. And we'll increase the exposure a tiny bit and we're also going to increase the clarity and texture. Texture. Yeah, my bad. So I'm just gonna just gently just brush over him. Oh, skill should go away. What do you ruin my video? So yeah. So as you can see, I was painting over him very lightly here, and this is just gonna make him. This is gonna make his all the definition on his body just pop out just a tiny bit more. He's just gonna stand out against the background. Then same on his legs down here. We're not gonna touch the jeans. Or jeans. Who's texting me? Leave me alone. So yeah, just come down to his legs here, we're skipping the shorts, like I was meant to say. Then now he just pops out a tiny bit more than he did do previously. What we could do with that, we could just bring down the, the exposure of the image so he just stands out a bit more. And yeah, that's it for that photo. So the second photo done. Voila, that's banging, right? Absolutely banging. So same again, we'll go to the third one. Actually, you might skip this. It's pretty much the same lighting as the previous one. So yeah, we'll just cancel that out. Yeah, skip. Skip, skip, skip. Okay, indoor shot, very nice, very nice. So we so we rearranged the, the position of this uh, this room, shall I say. So we moved the exercise, exercise bike in front of the window so we had the all natural light coming in. So I could come right down the ISO to 500 because previously it was about 1,000 and that's like, it starts to get a bit grainy. So we don't don't like that, you know. I like to make it just as sharp as possible. So for this one, it doesn't need much editing at all. Like, honestly, highlights are on point. Probably bring out the shadows a tiny little bit. Like again, we're not we're not playing with the contrast just because it just it just it just it just looks ridiculous like what you're doing. Then blacks are pretty much fine as they are, so just increase the clarity a little bit. Straighten it up a bit more for Instagram, you know. Then we'll come down here back into colours. We're gonna remove the yellows to get I don't have the brick wall. Brick, I have some against brick walls, you'd never ever see me post a picture of brick walls. Um, but yeah, remove the yellow out of that to keep it nice and clean. And probably also the blues as well, I think. Remove the blues, not into that. Greens, not into that either. Unless he has blue in his eyes. Does he have blue in his eyes? Yeah, he has blue in his eyes. All right, we're gonna keep a bit of blue. Gonna keep a little bit of blue, even though you can't see the detail in there, but yeah, that's that's where that is. But yeah, obviously the natural light just came and poured in onto him, so obviously he's just glowing, he just stands out, and obviously there's nice depth and to separation from the background to him in the shot, which makes it stand out so well. The same again, we'll come down to calibration add a bit more warmth to him, give him a bit more of a tan, like sun kiss, golden, golden glow. And yeah, honestly, I think after a bit of detail, that's that's pretty much it. Like obviously, like once you make one edit of the shot you like, you just copy and paste that preset. Well, that's what I do anyway. I just 
it's obviously streams like a job, obviously means you can edit more photos faster, and obviously be on time for your client and all the rest of it. And I think that's, that's pretty much it. It's the same again, you could also use a brush and obviously you colour it in and obviously uh, add more definition to his muscles and all this and the outlines and stuff like that. But for Pavit's sake, we're not going to do that. And then moving on to the last image, just a bit more of a sunset one. So we'll straighten us up again for the horizon, maybe crop it down a bit. Um, send, maybe just off centering, you know, just give it a bit more. Don't, you don't want death, people in the very centre of the image, just looks a bit off at times. So you need to add a bit more to it, like the rule of thirds and all the rest of it. So the same again, we're going to paste the settings from the previous post earlier. Obviously, shadows are way too strong here, so we're going to bring them all the way back up. But we're going to leave a bit of shadow, you know, add a bit of mood to it, you know, because it was it was sunset. We can also increase the whites as well, which is quite nice. Then I think we can just bring all the blacks back, just a tiny bit, up to minus 20 there. Um, we also think we'll bring some blues back into it. What are we doing? Oh, let's bring some highlights as well. There we go. There we go, Mike. Yeah, that's good, that's sick, mate. So yeah, I think that's not too far off to be honest, you know. I, I, I'm very, I like that. Editing is very simple. The grey scale looks sick as well, by the way. That looks cool. That looks really cool. But no, we're going to keep the blues in it. We're going to keep the blues. We might even just play around. Oh, no, we're going to keep the colour of his shorts the same. Um, but we might increase, let's make it a bit darker, yeah. So we decrease the luminosity of the colours. That actually changes the intensity of the colour. So for example here, the blue's quite washed out, just in the brightness of the sky and the contrast and the, the lightness of the foreground to the background. So you bring the blues down, it's going to make it darker. Bring the blues up, it's going to wash out the blues. So we're actually going to just make it a tiny bit darker. And there's also some nice purples down here as well, so we could also just increase this. Uh, just to add a nice more of a sunset vibe to it. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it to be honest. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. And yeah, I think... I think obviously once you're done with these images, just export them. Command E, blah blah blah, save them in your folders and all the rest of it. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's like how I work is pretty straightforward, you know. Keep them nice and clean, almost very scale, monotony, grey scale, monotony kind of kind of look. That's how my, my feed looks quite crisp most of the time. I try and just work and plan ahead of what I'm gonna post so I know it's all gonna look together. Just the essentials of moving greens and blues and yellows, I think it is, just keeps my feed looking the way it does and obviously that works really well for me and makes me stand out and obviously the people who want to work with me see the style I do. So yeah, I think if you could try, if you're moving, you're just getting into photography, try and like pick, try and create your own style, be unique and from on that you'll just stand out against everyone else because people are just posting all these colourful images left, right, centre, you know, you want to kind of have your, have a, have a theme to your page, almost like creating a niche as well at the same time. So yeah, I hope that was really useful, a bit of an insight to how I edit. Very straightforward, like I said, there's nothing fancy to it. Obviously, I could, I've could, i shown you my retouching in Photoshop, but well, there's, there's, there's so many different ways to edit. Obviously, edit differently, don't think it's different or weird or anything like that. Everyone's got their own way of editing, but well, this is just my personal taste. And obviously, if you do want to buy presets um, or talk to me about how I edit more, that's absolutely fine. Just drop me a DM and I will be able to help you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Like, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up.